Aloha! I am the Great Clement, and now we're on Mega Man 7, one of my favorite Mega Man games, if not my favorite Mega Man game, for the Super Nintendo. We finally moved on from 8-bit, good freaking god! So anyway, it takes place in the year 2000 X, X, that, you know, again. <laughs> And we're recapping the events of Mega Man 6. Where the world cheered Mega Man when at long last, he finally captured and arrested that evil, notorious scientist we've been battling for six games now, Dr. Wily. And that newspaper had a weird article about Cutman. It said Cutman 2. I don't know what's up with that, but, um... I guess he got his own game series in the Mega Man universe. Which makes sense, because Cutman's kind of cool. However, Dr. Wily always knew his schemes might end in absolute, tragic, and pathetic failure. And so he had planned for this a long time ago. Which, you know, is kind of crazy when you think about it. Four robots had been hidden away, and after six months, six months since Mega Man 6, without being c contacted by their master, Dr. Wily, they finally wake up, and, uh, well, they begin searching for their master. And these robots like to search for things by destroying shit. <laughs> but yes, these robot... And it's, yes, it said four robot masters, not eight. Don't worry, there are eight in the game. It's just, we start off with four right now. That robot is a lot smaller in person. I don't know why it's the size of buildings here. Nevertheless, this is Mega Man 7. And Mega Man 7 is a lot longer than the NES games, if only because maybe there's a lot of talking... Now, they finally added dialogue and stuff, and, uh, you know, one problem with the game, you can't skip through them. Can't this game go any faster, Otto? The city is under attack! I'll try and punch it up a notch. Hold on, roll. Yeah, Otto is a new robot that, uh, Dr. Light created to invent items for Mega Man, which, in which is the introduction of a new thing with the Mega Man series that I'll get to after this, but, uh, Otto's a character who will be in 7, 8, 9, and base. So we're gonna be seeing him from now on. That's Otto, not Robo. Do not confuse him with the Chrono Trigger hero. Comic relief is good when it's funny. I guess not. Personally, I kind of like the other one. And apparently Mega Man does poses just like the Robot Masters do. Go figure. <laughs> Good luck, Mega Man! So these robots are trying to bust Dr. Wily out of here. Hopefully I can stop them in time. Doctor, are you okay? I'll bring back Roll to take care of you. No, Mega Man! We have no time! Wily is using the attack of his robots to cover his escape! You know what I hate about this introduction sequence? You can't even, like, fast-forward the words. Like, I'm okay if you can't skip through it completely, but at least let me fast-forward the words as, as quickly as I want to. Then again, you can't even stop the words to read them fast enough. So no, no! Dr. Wily broke out of prison! God! Damn it! I just caught him, too! You've got to go now, Mega Man! Get Rush and follow Wily's spaceship! Hey, I've always wanted a seventh adventure. <laughs> but no, this is Mega Man 7 for the Super Nintendo, and it's a lot different than the 8-bit games, that's for sure. Well, in look, in size, in scope. For the basics, though, Mega Man handles exactly like he did in the NES games. He still has his Mega Buster, he still charges it up, he can still slide and all that junk. And we start off with Rush Coil again, unlike Mega Man 6, so we have a spring to reach high places with. 
this boss that we saw in the intro is surprisingly easy and now and is nowhere as big as he was in the intro of this of the whole game so I don't know what's up with that but I digress this is a short level and uh, who the fuck is that an easy boss that's who he is <laughs> all you pre all you pretty much have to do is stand there and shoot him when he comes down and every time he shoots at you just jump but uh, it's not much of a boss fight if you lose but what the hell you are as good as they say, Mega Man. You better tell me who you are. I'm Bass, and he's Treble. We have been trying to stop Dr. Wily while you were gone. I see now that you don't need our help. Um, I could always use help, buddy. <laughs> Bass? Yes, this is Bass and Treble. Bass and Treble are like, kind of like Mega Man in a way. But anyway, I'll talk about them later. These are the four robot masters that we start off with. Four, yes. Now, for the sake of beating the game as quickly as I can and showing you um, where all the hidden extra stuff are, I'm going to be tackling Freeze Man first. And normally I would not do this because Freeze Man is not the easiest robot master to fight. Oh god, no. But I will try and do it anyway. So let me go over the bio. Freeze Man is a prototype robot bleh, <laughs> a prototype robot for pollution-free energy. He is always trying to invent a cool appearance pose. A good point, he's a perfectionist. A bad point, he's gaudy. He likes mystery novels and he dislikes pollution. Now well, that's nice. And this is uh, a completely different stuff, isn't it? It's so weird to be playing a Super Nintendo game. I've been playing these NES games and so long, and now it's it's just great to be playing this one. Freeze Man stage has a lot of spikes, a lot of icicle robots, and you don't want to kill those icicles because they're your way across those spikes that we just passed. And as always, you push start to go to the menu, and you can get to Rush Coil. And Rush Coil can take us to this little H H icon up here, and uh, basically there are four icons that are spelled R U S H. And if you want to get the ultimate armor that is good for flying and dealing out damage, then we're going to want to find all those letters. So there's the H in case you were wondering. Uh, one great thing about Mega Man 7 that I love, aside from the other ones, is that you can actually switch to your other weapon energy abilities by pushing the L and R buttons. I'm using Rush Coil to get across these big distances, and we got Rush Search right there. Rush Search is an ability where Rush can search over the land that you've made him drop on, and he might find an item, or he might not. Here he did not. I find that pretty shitty, considering we just got him. That should be the exact same spot. That should be the exact spot where he finds something, but whatever. But as I was saying, in the earlier NES Mega Man games, oh, I got an energy tank. We all love energy tanks. But, uh, Jesus, I keep getting inter interrupted. But you always got abilities from the Robot Masters, and it's the same thing here. However, in this game, you actually get to be able to switch to each ability with the L and R button. You don't have to keep pushing pause and going in the menu to do it, and I love that. Anyway, here is Freeze Man, and Freeze Man is a rather difficult b Robot Master because he's he's doing so much on screen it's hard to keep track. The big thing you have to remember and the big thing I need to tell folks is that when you shoot at him, he jumps. That's the thing you really need to know. If you don't shoot, you can jump over him and he's just gonna keep running, but if you shoot, he's gonna jump. So, you know, keep that in mind. When he jumps up, he might shoot ice at the ground, which can freeze the whole ground and even you if you're standing on it. And he'll also shoot a icicle blast forward when he lands sometimes and he can freeze you with that and god it's he's also dropping icicles on you you know it's not an easy robot master no matter how easy it I'm making it look right now it is not actually I won't make it look good at all because I start getting my ass kicked later I mean he is tough and it's and all the robot masters boss meters are friggin longer or something because now their health bar takes a lot longer to drain out I needed to use this energy tank because there's no way I was winning without it. I mean, I could have practiced more, but whatever. I'll see you in part two.